Okay, well, welcome to Bar in the Basement, everybody. So, you'll notice I have my tools. I have my mat. I've chosen a little bit of a thicker mat today because that's my preference for my feet. But if you have a skinnier mat, like a yoga mat or something, that's great. I also have a nice chair here. So, kind of a kitchen chair of sorts. Something a little bit more dense, a little bit heavier, a little more weight than a plastic chair. Um, and that can just kind of be about hip bone height if you can get that. If you feel like it's got to be lower, a little higher, that's okay. You'll manage around that a bit. Then, I also have a nice squeezy ball, right? So if you don't have that, remember a small towel that you roll up or a small pillow is a great option. And then the last thing that I have is a set of three pound weights. And I just like three pounds. That's what I like to work out with. However, if you wanted something a little bit heavier or a little bit lighter, that's okay. If you don't have weights, remember that you can also go ahead and substitute full water bottles or canned goods. Those are great choices. So, with all those pieces of equipment, making certain that everything around us is open and there's nothing for us to bump into, we're going to go ahead and start. So as long as you don't have any injuries, let's begin. We'll step a little bit away from the chair to make sure we have that room. And let's start by bending at the knees a little bit, sinking down. From here, we're going to take the chin down to the chest, move the head from one shoulder forward to the other shoulder. I want you to keep breathing as you work through this, inhaling and exhaling. You're going to keep breathing as you move that head from one side and back to the other. Good. A couple more of those. Good. You've got one more set. Going from one side and then back to the other. Taking the head up. Good. So once that head's up, let's start to roll those shoulders up, back, down, and around. Just rotating all the way through here. Good. Inhaling and exhaling. You've got one more. And then let's add those arm circles into it. Good. Keep breathing as you go. Inhaling and exhaling still. Perfect. You've got about four, three, good, two, and one. And then the arms go back and the tail come back. We're inhaling here as we exhale, we're going to go to the front. So you inhale, go back, exhale, go forward. Inhale, go back, exhale, go forward. Give me two more. Good. We have one more. Perfect. And then we're going to bring it on back down. Good. And now we're going to go ahead and step in a little bit. We're going to send the arms out to the side, palms are facing up, and I want you to march. And march. And as you march, press those arms up to the sky. Keep breathing. Inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale, exhale. Couple more. Inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Inhale, exhale, and bring it on back down. Good. Taking a nice deep breath. I just want you to go ahead and shift to the left foot. Point the right toe. Take the arms up to the right. You're going to plie down through the center. Tap over to the left. And again, to the right and to the left. Good. To the right and to the left. You've got a couple more of these. Good. One more set. Awesome. Final set. Good. And then bring it down with me. Okay. So next, let's go ahead and place those feet. So hip distance apart is ideal. Placing the hands on the hips, relaxing the shoulders back and down. From here, bend at the knees and lower down. Let's start by rotating the pelvis to the front, feeling the pressure moving to the fingertips. Noticing the back's kind of flat, the abs are sort of squished here. Not trying to stay in that position. Let's send that seat back, feel that pressure in the thumb. From here, you'll notice your back is crunchy, abs are all stretched out. Not really wanting to stay in that posture either. Let's slowly move our hips forward till we've got equal pressure. From there, you're gonna engage those abs with me, lengthen up through those legs, and try to maintain that nice upright posture as much as you can today. So from here, we're going to go ahead and stand profile to our chair. I'm going to have you go ahead and grab the ball and bring it on up. So let's place the ball between the legs and we're going to go ahead and stand with those feet about hip distance apart. Good. From here, let's place that outside hand on the hip, relax the shoulders back and down. Now I want you to go ahead and try to raise the heels up nice and high. If it's too much, remember you can always lower the heel even all the way if you need to. But if you can, you're going to lift those heels with me. Next, we're going to bend the knees and sink down. Sits bones pointed toward the heels, abs drawn in. Now from here, we're going to take that outside arm into first. We're going to roll the shoulders open, and I want you to start to sink down. Sink down. Good. And sink down. So it's a pretty tiny little movement. One of the things I want you to pay attention to is your ankles, making sure your ankles don't roll out and they don't roll in. You really want to keep that ankle lined up. And once again, you might have to lower your heels to keep your structure more sound. That's okay if you need to do that. You're going to keep breathing as you pulse. 
and pulse, good, and pulse, beautiful. Inhaling and exhaling as you work, good. Try to relax the shoulders, focus on those abdominals, good. Give me a couple more, and last one there. Now tightening the abs, start to squeeze the ball, squeeze, good. Press in, press in. Almost imagine you're trying to pop it, actually, so you wanna give it some good pressure, right? Keep breathing, feeling that core really engage and react, awesome. Five, four, three, two, and one. Then steady back into neutral. Take those hips to the front, take the seat back, bring it center. Take it forward, take it back, take it center. Take it forward, back, center. Forward, back, center. Good. Forward, back, center. Breathe. Forward, back, center. Four more times. Good. You got it. Forward, back, center. Forward, back, center. Good. Keep breathing. You got this one more time. Bring it back to the center. Now open those arms out to the side. Again, that one hand still on the chair. I want you to start to sink down again. Two, three. Check back into that ankle. Make sure your structure's upright. Check and make sure you're not starting to hinge forward or something. You wanna engage the abs, work on that, those muscles. Make sure that you can really maintain your balance and your structure. Woo, four, three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna have you squeeze in on the ball, release, and lower down an inch and release. Squeeze, release, lower, release. Squeeze, release, lower, release. Squeeze, release, lower, release. I want you to keep working through that. Inhaling and exhaling, good. The movement's small. You're gonna stay in a bend the whole time. You just get a little bit lower each time you pulse down. Four to go. Squeeze, release, lower, release. Good, hang in there, two more. Good, one more time, perfect. Now you're gonna stay here, you're gonna take that arm above you, relax the shoulders. Let's take the pelvis to the front, to the back, to the center, squeeze the ball. Forward, back, center, squeeze. Forward, back, center, squeeze. Forward, back, center, squeeze. Keep breathing, forward, back, center, squeeze. Forward, back, center, squeeze. Five more times, hang in there, whew, good. Remember, listen to your body. If you feel like you need a break right now, take one. You can always come back in. Two more, good. Center, squeeze. One more, center, squeeze. And start to pulse down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower those heels and take a breath. Shake it out. Whew, good. All right, I'm gonna place the ball down. Let's turn and face our chair. And let's start by taking a stretch. Left hand onto the left shin. Bend the right knee with me. Pull that left leg back and rotate that pelvis forward and find a nice stretch. Good. Then let's switch. Let's put the left foot down. Take the right hand onto the right shin, bend the left knee, pull the right leg back and rotate the pelvis forward and take a breath. Good. And then bring it on back down and shake it out a little bit. Fantastic. Okay, so next let's work the back of the body. So I'm gonna have you turn your chair to face you. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the ball down for now. So, if you need to move something around, that's fine. If you've got something kind of close by, we need to move out of the way, do that. So from here, placing the heel of the hand on the chair, wrapping the hands around, we're gonna walk the body back a bit till we finally get to a nice L shape. So you wanna make sure that your body mass isn't shifted forward into your arms. Instead, it's shifted back towards your legs. From here, let's bend the knees and sink low. Step the left foot back, point the toe, and now you'll notice my tailbone sloped down. So let's raise the tailbone, tighten the abdominals, and load up the left leg. From here, let's start to lift and lift. Good, and lift. So try to squeeze the glute as you raise the leg behind you. Keep breathing as you work through it, inhaling and exhaling. Good. It's a pretty tiny movement. I want you to keep your hips square to the floor here. And you're really focusing here on squeezing the seat to move the leg, not moving the spine. Good. Keep breathing. Awesome. You have five more. Squeeze up. Squeeze up. Check and see if that leg's straight. If it's got a little bend in it, see if you can lengthen it and reach a little longer through the toes. Two more. And one more. Now from here, flex the foot, and we're going to lift for three. So we're going to go up an inch, up an inch, up an inch. Release. Up, up, up. Release. Up, up, up. Good. Now check and make sure the neck is still long, that the abs are still tight. Good. Up, up, up. Release. Up, up, up. Good. Hang in there. Two 
keep working through it. Good. Three more. Two more. Woo. One more. Good. Now stay here. Pulse up for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now I'm going to have you go ahead and point the toe. You're going to point to lift, flex to lift. Point it up, flex it up. Point, flex. A little squeeze each time. Point with the squeeze, point, uh, flex with the squeeze. <laughs> oh, good. Squeeze with the point and squeeze with the flex. Those are the words I was looking for. <laughs> Keep breathing. Point, flex. Couple more. Point, flex. One more time. Point and flex. Now keeping the knee bent, flex the foot and start to push up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Point the toe, keep pulsing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Bring it down. Come on up, shake it out a little. Let's move behind the chair and take a quick stretch. So bringing your left ankle above your right knee, bend your right knee, send your seat back, take it back. Good. And then let's switch. Bring that right ankle above the left knee, bend the left knee, send the seat back, take it back. Good. And then let's go ahead and come back into position. Good. So again, we're gonna go ahead and face the chair, place the hands, and walk the feet back until we're in a nice L shape. Now, let's bend the knees a little bit, sink down, step the right foot back and point the toe. So again, raise the tailbone up, tighten the abdominals, and float up the right leg. So once more, let's start to squeeze the glute and lift the leg up. You're gonna keep breathing as you get into this, inhaling and exhaling. Good, keep breathing through it. Awesome. 10 more, one, two, Three, four, five, six. Little squeeze in that seat. Keep going. Nine and twenty. Now flex that foot. Ready? We're gonna go ahead and start. I'm sorry. Let's lift for three. It's up, 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 and release. Up, 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 and release. Lift, lift, lift. Great. Lift, lift, lift. Lift, lift, lift. Wonderful. Up. Ten singles, pulse up for one, two, three, four. Make sure those abs are engaged, that you're shifting your body weight back. You're not starting to shift your weight forward here. Four, three, two, one. Now I want you to go ahead and point to lift, flex to lift. Point it up, flex it up. So think squeeze the point, flex the point. Squeeze the point, flex, squeeze the flex. <laughs> Keep breathing. Boy, that's twice in a row I messed it up. All right, point to left, flex to lift. Point to lift, flex, last three. Squeeze it up with the point, squeeze it up with the flex. Last two, Woo. one more. Now bend the knee and flex the foot. Ready, start to push up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Point the toe, keep going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Bring it on top. Good. Come on up, shake that out again. Woo. Same stretch. Ready? So, coming around the chair once more. Right ankle first, but on the left knee. Bend the left knee, send the seat back a little bit, take breath. Fantastic. And then let's switch it a little. Good. Left ankle above the right thigh. Bend the right knee, send the seat back, take a little breath. And then bring it back up. Fantastic. Okay, let's spin that chair around. So we want to go back to where we were earlier. All right, so from here, we've got the back of the chair facing us. We're going to step our feet a little wider. 
From there, place your outside hand on your hip. Bend your knees with me and sink down into a little like nice up, low, low squat here. All right, so in your little squat with your legs turned out to the side, your abs are in. You are gonna go ahead and make sure with your outside hand that you have that equal pressure. Then make sure the knees above the ankle and the knees pointed the same way as the toes. From here, your outside arm moves first, your shoulders relax back and down, and I want you to pulse. Two, three. Now that inside hand can stay on the chair. If you felt like you don't need it, you can bring it to the front. That's perfectly fine. Totally optional, either way. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay here and press back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's put that together. Going down, going back. Going down, going back. Keep breathing. Good. Five, back. Six, back. Seven, back. Good. Keep working through it. Good. Nine, and ten. Now, we're moving the arms out to the side. Relax the shoulders. Lift up your right heel and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch it out. Left heel now for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Both heels on the floor. The arms go above. Relax the shoulders. Push back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Staying here. Going to the right and to the left. Right, left, right, left. Keep breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. Perfect. Good. Keep your shoulders relaxed as you work. Woo. Four. Good. Three. You're doing awesome. One more time. Bring it back to the center and bring the arms to the front. Pulse down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The arms move back to the side again. Both heels lift and pulse for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Take a breath. Woo! See if you can go down one more inch. Hold it. Good. Abs tight. Back upright. See if you can go down one more inch. Hold it. Good. Breathe. Give me one more inch if you can. Woo! Hold it here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heels down. Come up. Good. All right. Turn those toes forward a little bit. And let's hinge forward, taking the elbow to the inner thigh. Lower that seat. Press it on back. Take a breath and breathe. If you want, you can drop one shoulder forward, look to the other side. And let's reverse that, going the other way. Bring it center. Send the seat up, hands down, and walk your feet. Great. Bending the knees as you roll it up to the top. Wonderful. So we've worked the front, the back, the inner. We're going to work the sides. Okay. So I'm going to have you bring your ball up again, and we're going to come back to that chair. Fantastic. We're going to face it. And we want to stand about four arms distance away, which means elbows at the ribs, palms resting on the chair, right? So you're not all the way against it, you got a little space. Turning your feet into a small V, you're going to incorporate the ball. If it's too much and it really makes your hamstrings cramp, you can omit it. It just makes it a little more challenging. So from here, bend your knees a little, sink down, open through the chest, roll the shoulders back, pull the abs strong. I want you to take the ball and you're going to place it behind the left knee. So pull the heel up toward the seat and take a little breath. From there, relax those shoulders, those abs are in, and I want you to start to squeeze the ball for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now from here, you're going to start to take that ball, mine sliding out a little bit, so I'm going to reset it. I want you to take it up to the side, up to the side, good, up to the side, keep breathing, up to the side, good, lift, and lift, and lift, good. And lift. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. Keep it lifted. Pulse up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flex the foot. Now start to push back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to go back for three. So it's back, 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 good, back. Five, woo, up, back, up, back. Four more, good. Three more, 
it all the way behind the other knee, go back up. Down, squeeze it out. Down, squeeze it out. Keep breathing. Down, squeeze it out. Five to go. Woo, four to go. Good. Three, two, and one. And then take it on down. Take a breath and breathe. Shake that out a little bit. Good. Okay, so let's reset for the second side. So turning your feet back into your small knee, elbows at your ribs, palms under your chair, bend the knee. Again, reach down, take a hold of the ball, place it behind the right knee, and pull the heel in. Good. And now I want you to move the right knee behind the left knee, tightening the abs, staying upright, and squeeze the ball for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now start to take the right knee up to the right and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Keep breathing. Good. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Four to go. Three. Two. Take it up there. Keep it lifted and pulse up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flex the foot this time and start to push back. Now make sure the right leg is still behind the left leg. Tighten the abdominals. Keep breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. Four. Three, two, one. Now back for three. Back, back, back. Back, back, back. Back, back, back. Hang there. Back, back, back. Good. Woo, four to go. Perfect. Back, back, back. Good. Back, back, back. Couple more. One more. And then point the toe and go up and back. Up and back. Lift and push. Lift and push. Hang in there. Five more. Good. Four, whoo, three, hopefully that supporting hip's getting a little tired. <laughs> One more, awesome. Now bring that knee down behind the other and go back up to the side. Bring it down, lift it out. Bring it down, lift it out. Bring it down, lift it out. Stand upright, tighten those abdominals, hang in there. Keeping that working leg a little bit behind the standing leg so it's tapping to the back of the knee, not the front. Four, whoo, three, two, good. One more time. Awesome, and then take that ball and take a breath. Fantastic. I am going to move my chair to the side here, so it's out of the way. And then I'm gonna have you meet me on the floor. Let's take a nice stretch here. So legs are long, left ankle above the right thigh, lower the left knee. The right leg could stay straight, or if you're feeling a little more flexible, you can go shin to shin. I'm a little tight this afternoon, so I'm not quite as flexible as I was this morning. Arms are out in front with a little fist going back. We're gonna push in, Hinge forward and roll those shoulders back and take a breath. Perfect. Then we're going to switch that. Ready? So, legs are long. Right ankle above the left thigh. Lower the right knee. The left leg can stay straight or go shin to shin. Take the arms out. Make a little fist. Bring it on back. Push in. Hinge forward and roll the shoulders away. Good. And then you're coming on back up. Good. You're going to go ahead and put your feet down and you're going to flip over with me. Ready? So, we are going to get in position for push-ups. Now, if you have sensitive wrists or shoulders, you can always get up and do your push-ups on the wall. That's great. I'm going to go ahead and move them on the floor, however. Now, you want to make sure your knees have enough cushion between you and the floor. So, you may need to fold up your mat to give yourself more cushion or put a towel or a pillow beneath your knees. So, if you need to do that for yourself, please do. All right, we are going to start in a regular push-up. So, you have Three choices on the floor. You can be on all fours doing that work here. You can out there on your knees with me in that intermediate position. And then if you want to go advanced, you go up onto your toes. Okay? If you're on the wall, you're going to go ahead and pick the position on the wall, which is standing, right? So from here, you're going to position your body, tighten your abdominals, place the hands a little bit wider than your shoulders or the mat. And we're going to inhale down, exhale. Out. Inhale, exhale. Three, four, good. Five, hang in there. Six, seven, keep going. Eight, nine, ten, ten to go. One, two, three, four, keep breathing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and twenty. Now separate those knees for me, everybody. Send that seat back, reach those arms out, circle out those wrists a couple times. Good. And then we're going to come on back up and we're going to do a nice Chaturanga style push up next. So hands under the shoulders this time as the elbows bend, they stay near the ribs. 
okay? Same three choices on the floor, all fours, knees, or toes, and again, standing if you're against the wall. So place those hands under the shoulders, open the fingers a little bit wide, tighten your abdominals. Inhale now, exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Go ahead. For four, five, six, seven. Keep breathing. Eight, nine, ten. Ten to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Fantastic. Separate those knees a little bit. Send the seat back. Reach the arms out. Take a breath. Now again, you can circle up the wrist a little bit if you'd like to. Awesome. And then we're going to go ahead and come all the way back up. Beautiful. So I'm going to have you grab your weights next. Then you're going to meet me standing. We're going to get to a little bit more arm work here. Turning those palms forward. Let's bend the knees a little and sink down. Roll the shoulders back. Start to bicep curl with me. And two. And three. Good. And four. Five. Perfect. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. Two more. One more. And then bring it down. Turn the palm in. Relax the shoulders. Rotate to the side. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. Two more. One. And two. Now take those arms to the sides. Relax the shoulders. Push up. Pull down. Push up, pull down. Three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Always going to 12 here. Breathe through it. Good. Couple more. Woo! One more. Here we go. And bring it on back down. Take a breath. Good. I'm going to turn to the side so it's easier to see. Bend the knees, hinge at the hips, and tighten the abs. Draw the arms up and start to straighten and bend. Two, three, four. Five, keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. Good. Last one there. Turn those palms up. Press up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Little circle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Bring it down. Good. Now from here, I want you to bring those weights end to end in front of you. Elbows are out. I want you to roll the shoulders back. Turn the feet into a small V. Zip it up, unzip it. Zip it up, unzip it. So lifting the heels is excellent. If you can incorporate that, if that's throwing you off balance a little bit, you can skip the heel lift. Good. But try if you can. Keep breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Six. Good. Five. Four. Good. Three. Two, one more. Hold it up. Good. Take a breath. Try to relax your shoulders. Open up through the chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Tighten the abdominals. And then lower back down. Fantastic. Okay, placing the weights on the floor. Let's come on down. We're going to take a quick stretch for those arms. And then we're going to go ahead and get into our abdominals. So send the arms out, palms up. Take the left hand to the right elbow. Right hand to the shoulder. You go up and back. Now the left hand can stay there or you could reach back. Get a little stretch. And then we're switching. Arms are back out, palms up. Right hand to the left elbow. Left hand to the shoulder, go up and back. Good. And then you're gonna go ahead and release that. Great, grab the ball. From here, we are gonna go ahead and take the ball out the middle of the back, leaning back here, and we're gonna tilt the pubic bone up. Then, bring the shoulders and sternum in. Hands under the thighs, elbows up. Turn in that head, making sure there's no tension. And let's pulse in. And two, and three, and four, and five, good. Six, seven, eight, if you can, release, and keep going, we've got 10 more. Two, now remember, you can always put the hands back on if you need to. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Place the hands between the knees, raise the left leg up and reach. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, switch the legs, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Put those feet back down, walk the legs together, take the hands to the left and reach. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. To the right and reach. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Come on up, take a little breath and breathe. Good. Okay, second set. Ready? We're leaning back into the ball again. Tilting the pubic bone up, bringing the shoulders and sternum in. Hands are under, elbows high, turning that head a little side to side. So this time I'm going to have you go ahead and bring your left leg up. Turn it out a little bit in the socket so it's kind of turned up to the side. I'm going to lean the right knee out to the side a little bit. You're going to reach. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now bring your left leg down. Keep the left knee out to the side. Raise the right leg up and turn the leg out in the socket a little bit. And reach. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And then I'm going to have you keep those feet out there where they are. And I want you to go ahead and send your arms up. Bring the legs together. Send the arms up. Bring the legs together. Bring it up and together. Woo! Up and together. Use those abs to pull you up and raise the arms. So you're pressing up with the thumbs, pulling your abdominals deep. Right? That ball is back there for support. So let it really be kind to your back here. Three to go. Woo! Two to go. One to go. Good. And bring the knees together. Leave them together. Take your arms over to one side, then the other. One side, then the other. Keep breathing. Inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale, exhale. You've got a few more of these. Awesome. Woo! A couple more. Good. Two more sets. Fantastic. And then come on up. Take a breath. All right. Let's move that ball over to the side for now. We're going to lie down. We're going to go ahead and start with those legs straight if we can. Hands are down beside us. And I want you to go ahead and start to take heels up. Take heels up. Awesome. Take it up. Keep breathing. Take it up. You got this. Take it up. Five to go. And uh -huh. four to go. Woo. Three to go. Two to go. And one to go. Good. And then you're going to bring it down. Now I want you to take the hands behind the head, palm over palm, and then I'm going to have you reach back out and grab the ball. You're going to place it between the thighs. Now I'm going to have you raise your head, take your eyes to your belly. You're going to tap your knees out, squeeze the ball a little bit, come on back up. Tap the knees out, squeeze the ball. Good. So the toes move out, the ball is good, squeezed by the thighs. Keep breathing. Woo. The back does not pop up off the floor here. So even as you get into this work, that little tap and a squeeze, you're going to stay nice and strong and still. Give me two more. Woo. Give me one more. Perfect. Come on back down and take a rest. One more. Legs are back up. Feet are together. You're going to lift up the head. Try to bring the right elbow toward the ball as you move. Squeeze it. And then left elbow toward the ball. Squeeze it. Good. Right elbow in to squeeze. Left elbow in to squeeze. Right to squeeze. Left to squeeze. Keep breathing. Awesome. Inhaling and exhaling. You got it. Woo. Awesome. Beautiful. Four more sets. Good. Three more sets. Squeeze as you tap. Squeeze as you tap. And don't worry if your elbow doesn't make it to the ball. That's okay. One more set. Squeeze and squeeze. And take it down. Fantastic. Move the ball to the side. Hug the knees in. Rock it side to side. Dropping the arms to the side. Gently take your knees to the left. Turn your head to the right. And then switch with me. Take your knees to the right. Turn your head to the left. And then bring yourself back to the center. Let's rock it up. All right. Flip over onto the hands and the knees for our final stretch here. So hands under the shoulders. Going onto the knuckles if it's kinder for your wrist. Tuck your chin. Tuck your tail. Round your spine. Take a breath. And then send the seat back. The head forward and the abdominals down. Do it again. Tuck the chin, tuck the tail around the spine. Seats back, heads forward, abs low. And you're going to release. Curl your toes, lift your knees. Feet to hands or hands to feet. Now keeping the knees bent, roll it to the 